It doesn't matter if the Cubs win or lose, Wrigleyville is a place for celebration. Every summer, hordes of baseball fans storm the friendly confines for an authentic baseball experience, which includes peanuts, pretzels, and naturally, ice-cold beer. With dozens of restaurants and bars surrounding one of the National League's oldest ballparks, the area is one of Chicago's most popular destinations. And it's the party on Clark Street that sees most of the action. Nothing but a party. It's just, it's just a, a big party. It's just fun. It's a good time after a game, before a game. You're going to meet people out in a good mood, having a good time. The bar, the fun, the beer, the pretzels, the peanuts that take me out to the ballpark. If you're looking for the classic pre- and post-Cubs game experience, look no further than Goose Island in Wrigleyville. Goose Island's eclectic beer menu and stellar food selection is a much needed retreat from the summer heat. Let's go, guys. Located across the street from the ballpark, Goose Island Brew Pub is just a Sammy Sosa cutoff throw away from Wrigley Field. For more than a quarter century, Goose Island has brewed some of the country's best craft beer. And at their Wrigleyville Brewery, guests get a behind the scenes look at how their award winning beer is made. I'm here with Brent, Brett, and Nick. They're not even from Chicago, but they love coming to Cubs games. I don't know a lot about Chicago, but one thing that I do know is it's good beer. I like the Honker's Ale. 312 actually is my favorite. Try the Cubby Blue, because obviously you want to get some Cubby Blue. Since food and beer go together like hanging curveballs and home runs, Goose Island also offers a full menu of ballpark staples like nachos, wings, and ballpark brats. What is it about the food and the beer that you enjoy so much keeps you coming back? To see the eclectic menu that they have here, then uh, the wait staff always knows whatever you're going to have, what beer is going to complement that. I like that too, right? They'll tell you like, hey, you should have the Matilda, and it really does make a difference. We sell Goose Island down in Indy, so like sometimes, you know, we'll go out and get Goose Island down in Indy, so it's like, hey, I gotta come out here and see where it's made from. Something about Goose Island beer is the taste of Wrigleyville, it's the taste of summer, it's the taste of the Cubs. There's a lot of bars in Wrigleyville. What is it about Goose Island that makes you keep coming back here? You gotta come to Goose Island to get the genuine Wrigleyville experience. We've been to a dozen other major league parks and they're all great, but there's no place where there's that kind of electricity that you get on a game day like you do in Wrigleyville. So what is it that you're going to show to Aaron that he doesn't get to see in Phoenix? The atmosphere, the crowd out here, the fans, you know, it's just, it, it pertains a lot more to us than, than as to what, you know, say, you know, go down to Cincinnati or Cleveland or, or St. Oh, Louis. That's so easy. Yeah. What do I want to do? Do I want to go to St. Louis? Cleveland, Cincinnati, or Chicago? Go to Chicago I mean, every time. I mean, can't and go we wrong. don't even have to win. I know. That's the best part. <laughs> like Ivy, organ music, and bleacher seats, good beer is a part of the Wrigleyville tradition. And as long as there's a Goose Island brewery in the area, Cubs fans will always have a place to celebrate their time at the old ball game. Next up, we catch a Cubs game at Wrigley Field.